My name is Derek Rayfield. I represent 10th Planet Las Vegas, and we're here at beautiful 10th Planet HQ for the 10PQ 170 qualifiers. Um, Scott Ross texted me uh, two weeks ago. I was in Kansas, and I was like, okay, well, I'll be there. Got a flight, and uh, here we are. I've been to two 10th uh, Planet trials before, um, both of them being at 155. Uh, the first one I went to, I lost in the finals to Ruben Rivera. The second time, I won the entire thing. Uh, went to Cancun, beat Elias Anderson, who is now a CJJ world champion. Just might sprinkle that on there. I'm definitely a lot bigger, more mature physically. I'm 19, I'm still growing. Um, I just hit like 175 for the first time, so um, it's definitely different. You know, growing up with jujitsu, your style changes as you uh, get bigger, you get longer. Um, you know, just little minute things change. Other than that, I mean, the people change a little bit. I had to go against PJ Barch, who uh, previously beat me. Um, Gio is someone I've rolled with in here and, and I know is very good. Um, and then Mike John, like I said, second time I've gone against him. So um, all guys that were just, that had my respect um, for sure. The match against Giovanni, um, we were standing and I, I don't remember how the scramble came about. Um, but we ended up scrambling, I ended up actually catching a head and arm choke that was just a bit off. It was too high on his chin, I wasn't able to get on the neck. Um, he escaped, uh, we went back to open guard, um, a few minutes later I was able to, to snag up a, uh, a guillotine and uh, get the finish from now. The reason I compete in things like this is because I just love to compete. I used to pay to compete and now I don't, sometimes I even get paid. And, um, it's, it's my personal passion, it's what I'm here to do, and I want to do it well, you know? So, that's, that's to answer your question why I'm here, that's why. The match with PJ, uh, like I told him after the match, like he's one of the guys that I respect and I personally look up to uh, for my jiu-jitsu game. Yeah, it was, it was a match I was excited for. We, uh, we, went, uh, we had a match in Tucson together uh, where he beat me pretty dominantly and it kind of showed me like, hey, this is the next level. And so, uh, almost a year later to come in here and, and have a match with him, it's, uh, it's an honor for me. The match started, um, Penn State wrestler made him pull guard, just want to throw that out there. I don't remember a lot of that match, I was getting beat up for a lot of it. He was able to keep a very good top control. I had my few minute um, victories, a few small battles that I won. He was putting a lot of pressure on me. He, his top control feels like no one else's, um, and that is something I'll give him credit to. Like He has a top game that is very dominant and very hard to deal with. With 30 seconds left, he, uh, he went for a head and arm choke. I gave it to him in hopes that he would um, burn out his arms, and it came on so much tighter than I anticipated. I, I you know, 20 seconds left, I just said, I'm gonna go out or I'm gonna live to overtime. Um, and I was just able to get enough breath to, to survive. Um, and that came in clutch during the overtime. I got out very fast, his arms were gassed. Um, I was able to hold him for a little bit. He ended up just putting on a super tight body lock on me in the second round, getting the rear naked choke. And uh, you know, I, I looked to my corner, Mike Wilson said, hey, his right arm's gone. His arm, he, you know, he's tired. And so I said, okay, I can, I can, 65 seconds, I have time to work, let's do it. You know, 65 seconds or my tournament's over, you know? So, um, put everything I had into it, um, switch from, I had spider web, he, uh, pressured into me, I switched to a dead orchard position and was able to get the Kimura finish from the, uh, from the dead orchard. Um, like I said, I really respect the guy. I've felt him compete at you know, the level he's capable of. I respect the hell out of him that he, was, he did take it. 
um, after you know competing with Nicky Ryan, one of the best in the world, just a couple days ago. It's just simply that uh, I competed. I shouldn't have competed today. That's all. I cut. I flew home yesterday. I cut 10 pounds till midnight last night. I slept for three hours. Drove to LA this morning. Competed with kids that um, you know. Derek is, is great. Uh, very attacking style, but he has no uh, fundamentals, man. And so he's content to lay around, wait for an overtime, and uh, that's what happened. You know. Um, props to him. He has great submissions. The, what I would say is who's ever ready, you know, like I haven't trained jiu-jitsu in four months. I've been out there in uh, Baker University wrestling. So um, I, I wish as a competitor that I had him at full strength, that he was prepared. Um, unfortunately, you know, if he feels like he wasn't, he wasn't, and I got the win today. Well, we're here in the finals, uh, me and Mike, Michael John, one of my longtime teammates. And uh, if, I mean, if I win, I go to Mexico, I get to compete in the actual tournament, which is something I've been wanting to do since, you know, like I've been doing these super fights and it's, you know, I feel like it's my time to be in the tournament. Um, what it means to me, it, this is a real special thing to me, just because Michael John, when I was a kid, I came in the room, he was one of the tougher guys, and I, I wanted to be like him a little bit, you know, I just as like a kid. And now we're here in the finals, he's my peer, not just my coach. Um, and I love the guy to death, I'm glad we're both here being successful. Um, so to see that we're peers and we're both um, in the finals together, killing it, like it, it, it made me feel good. Uh, we didn't really engage too much, it was a lot of open guard type stuff. Um, I ended up getting the heel hook. Um, it was kind of 50-50 for a while. I, uh, my foot was in danger. Um, I was able to lock up mine first, get a good clamp. Uh, the wall probably helped me as well, and um, I got the win. Yeah. Um, so Baker University um, gave me a pretty good offer. I, I went out there in Kansas, uh, is where it's at, and. Um, the reason I went there is because the coaching and the team is, is really good, but they also allow me, they understand that I do this type of stuff, you know, like a lot of wrestling coaches will be like, hey, you're mine, you're going to wrestle the entire year. Um, Coach Garcia uh, gives me a lot of freedoms to pursue my, uh, my other passions, you know, as far as jiu-jitsu, MMA goes, so um, shout out to the guys at, at BU for that. Now I'm headed to Combat Jiu-Jitsu Worlds. Um, I'm excited to do it. You know, I'm finally in the bracket. I've uh, had other experiences with, uh, with super fights and such, but um, now to actually be in the tournament, to, to be one of the guys like, in the mix, you know, it, it makes me feel real good. So my experience with Combat Jiu-Jitsu is um, uh, like a week after I turned 18, I uh, did my first match against Mike Flock. Um, and that was, that was a really fun match. That's one of my, uh, my most fun matches I've had just in general in my career, you know. The, uh, it was at Long Beach, I had a lot of uh, friends there. Uh, and I had this, like, this moment where he goes for this, um, this leg lock, he jumps into leg lock position, and I'm like, you know, I could defend this, but let's just throw a bomb at him. And, you know, it, it connected, the whole arena goes crazy, and it's, it was really fun, that really made my, uh, I was like, oh, I like combat jiu-jitsu, this is cool. He sits up to try to heel hook me, I grab his head, I got a few, uh, few in there, and, and uh, it's just cool. I go to college parties and stuff, and I'm like, hey, look. That's how you pick up. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's the pickup line. <laughs> I can hit someone. Hey, look, I can slap you. Listen, I get it, nerdy, but look. Um, and then um, another match against Elias Anderson I had in Cancun, which was a really cool experience. Um, going outside the country to uh, to compete, it was uh, it was very much fun. You know, uh, Elias is good. He uh, he had my back for a lot of that round. Gassed me out. Um, I was able to get the dub in the, in overtime, and um, I just have a lot of respect for him. Like um, he uh, he definitely pushed me to get there, and. Um, he uh, just won the 135, um, yeah, championships. CJJ World Champion, Elias Anderson, beaten by Derek. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to Combat Jiu Jitsu Worlds uh, for the 170 bracket in Mexico. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda, I don't know the bracket yet, like I was just trying to get here, win this, before I looked into it, but, um, I mean, I had some tough competition today, I hope that you know, it, it puts my name in the mix, you know, with the, seeing these uh, up and coming young guys, Nicky Ryan, uh, Ritolos, like guys I look at as my peers, but um, 
you know, I'm not really in that mix. So hopefully today's performance and the performance in, uh, in Mexico uh, is able to show that I'm, I'm there with those guys. My, uh, my philosophy on palm strikes is, uh, well, I'm, I'm an MMA guy, I think, in my core, you know, like that's the eventual goal, you know, like I want to do MMA and I've been training with Casey Halstead, who's an MMA coach, and um, so I've always, I'm always, when I'm doing jiu-jitsu, thinking about strikes and, and palm strikes, I believe, are the best way to bring that into jiu-jitsu. I've had a conversation with Brandon McCaffrey about this, is they're very good in certain positions, um, I've had trouble in the past going a little like slap happy, you know, my match with Elias Anderson, um, I was at the edge with him, I went for a big slap and he ended up taking my back off of it. So it's, you have to be able to, to not be slap happy, you know, to be controlled and to be measured while slapping people. I'm Derek Rayfield, watch me at Combat Jiu Jitsu Worlds, the Walter Waits, only on Fight Pass. I beat PJ Barch today. That shit's crazy. Yes, sir. Finally, finally to be on the special match. I appreciate everything you've ever done for me.